Without an invite to the tournament, OG underwent a roster shuffle that saw two new players join the team. It meant a grueling path through the open qualifiers to even reach the international. They've already taken the fight against OG. Now they come back with a three man surprise. Oh, OG, what did you expect out of that? At first, they struggled in the group stage, but a six and two final run helped secure a nine and seven fourth place finish and a trip to the upper bracket. On the main stage, Group B winners BGJ Storm were ready. They drew first blood and kept on rolling. But riding the play of the newly returned Anna, OG weathered the unrelenting pressure. In a sudden reversal, they obliterated BGJ Storm to take game one. Position to get themselves some of these objectives. There's no buyback on three of these heroes. And OG streaming forward. Anna going to take a lane of barracks. OG lead by a game to zero. Game two began in OG's favor, and with another big showing from Anna, they held that momentum, taking the game at a 2-0 series. They turn on Dorenzo, get the bash, find the kill, MSS also in trouble with all of BGJ Storm Ball. Next up, it was a grudge match versus evil geniuses. The series started with a bang by Thompson's Invoker. Thompson goes for for now. Jarex jumps for the Fisher, the cold snap, the Spirit Fest, and he just does so much. Thompson finds the double kill. Game two also looked like OGs to win as they opened a lead with an aggressive lineup. But EG showed classic TI resilience to spoil the sweep. Quick gets the kill. No doubt that is one of Jarex. EG hold. We have a series on our hands, tied 1-1 between these two teams. In the final game, EG tried to smash OG's defenses, which bent but did not break. OG now feel like they can maybe try and take this fight, but Somali's in. Take it out with a hurry whistle, they'll get up easy. Can they get anything more? They're able to oh, find the tiny. They're able to find fly the buyback hold from Anna. Oh boys, I think we did it. I think we fucking Clutch buyback Hunt wiped out the enemy and earned OG a spot in the upper bracket finals. OG wins the series two to one. There, OG took on PSG LGD with a spot in the grand final at stake. OG and Thompson erased PSG LGD's high ground defenses to take a one game lead. Oh. PSG LGD turned to Somnus' superstar Storm Spirit in the second match to force a game three. And White, oh, oh baby! Take it back. He actually goes down the deep, deep, deep inside the face. Somnus is looking to end this. In the final clash, Ame's Terror Blade was monstrous. And in a buyback fueled push, PSG LGD threw all their heroes at the OG throne. There's your slap! There's the dunk! There's the play! With the help of Jarex's Earthshaker, OG barely held on, storming across the map on a victory push of their own. LGD have nothing left. OG have done it. It goes the distance. It goes to three. Massive underdogs at the start of the tournament, OG have crushed all the favorites, riding high on their way to the grand final. The Aegis of Champions. PSG LGD versus OG. versus PSG LGD, the grand finals of TI8. Could be in the trees on bottom lane, they could set up with the Spectre Haunt. Here he so. goes, he's thinking about popping the blue cross commands up and he will. Looks towards X Nova, X Nova caught in the middle of the ring, and it comes over as well to join in the kill. The three of them find one. TP's are coming in, Chalice. 
Can he set something up with Arme? There's that. The jump. Look at the jump here. Under control. Jarek straight in on it. Arme and Arme puts the BKB, but it's too late. Somnus finds No Tell on the side. The buyback's going to be there straight away from No Tell. Somnus zipping across towards Jarek. The all out from the CM, but the Meteor Hammer from Seps coming down. They've got the chain stun onto X Nova. Anna still alive for now. They get the double kill. The cold embrace. Keep it out of alive. The Winter's Curse holding oh by the attacks off the chalice. The charge is so far. It'll fall. Triple kill for Anna. Anna. Can he survive? He gets up to the high red. He's still alive for now. The armor from Seb, keeping the spec to save Thompson will fall though, dives too deep Anna wants to find Somnus, pops the Manta style, they get the kill the it's an kill. ultra kill for Anna, he's still alive Chalice, he wants this but can he actually get it, he's got to back off Anna will TP out and the definition there of friendship and team play from OG well, Thompson can reflect a decent amount of spells and also remove the roof himself, but finds their fly they pop the odd as well, x is going to TP in that's the gem they just got the gem too. And they're buying back on FYP. GLGD desperately wants to try and take this fight somehow. As they know Thompson's Wukong's command is about to wear off. He'll jump himself out to the side. He's back up to the trees. There's the Winter's Curse. Holding back the two of the manas in. They're ready to fight this OG despite PSG LGD being the ones buying back into it. Jarek's in with the stun control. They'll burst down Arme. Arme's down for 90 seconds. Chalice drop as well as the orb from Anna comes out. Splitting LGD apart. Anna into the trees. Looks towards FY. Steps back to avoid the Echo Storm. Chalice still being chased down by Thompson. One more swipe will do it again. Chalice, they get FY, and Somnus and X Nova just left to try and pull the creep wave away. He'll zip across, but Jarax with the Echo Snap. The Orchid comes out onto the Shaker, the Triumph for the Return, but the self fuels keeps Jarax alive. He's safe. Somnus trying to run. Fisher, Boundless Strike. Do they have the damage in time? They do! Oh, gee! Again and again and again in this game one. Pulling off this, these incredible plays. And G, G is cold, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, G taking game one of this best of five in the 2018 International Grand Finals. Back, they've got Thompson back up in 10 seconds. But with a 28k advantage favoring LGD, can OG really do anything to stop this? It looks at the least that the Mega Creeps will be guaranteed. As the racks up top will fall, Thompson looking to lead in with the combo, but again, the boat straight on top of Anna. Somnus is in. They do manage to get the glimmer cape onto Anna. Anna backs away. Thompson with the ghost walk, keeping the himself dust. alive with the dust. They've got the dust. The Thompson dead. Thompson gone. As Jarrett and Anna. Whoa! Chalice again. These impetuses too hard for this IO to play against. As they're three dead on OG. PSG LGD with a full lineup still alive. As they look towards the mid lane, GG is called. Ladies and gentlemen, PSG LGD taking game two of the best of five grand finals here at TIA. He killed No Tail, I think, just his first two spells and a yeah. vessel. So they can burst down Chalice. They've got the setup with the Winter's Curse. Somnus is coming in for the sideline. Look at just Roger. The Laguna Blade comes through. It's enough. Chalice gone. Can they get anything more? Thompson turns his attention towards Somnus. Somnus pops the Manta Star. No tail. He's in trouble. Arme's on top of him. With that Mion, so much damage coming out of the Weaver. Somnus jumps forward. He's on top of Thompson. Thompson has the Alchemist form at the moment. He's cooking up his own concoction here. As Seb being chased. He gets himself into the trees. Cold embraces out. X Nova's there on the high ground. Magic Missile. The magical nukes and up. The blink out. But Jax, he's surrounded. Arme goes towards the Shrine Jarek's desperately trying to heal up, but the damage from Arme will be too much. They lose another in mid lane. FY just beaming down the middle with the Sunray, chasing back Seb. Thompson's down for a hundred seconds without that buyback. And Somnus, he's into the base, diving in with a blink counter, trying to fight back and push them away. But the mid racks get cleaned up by LGD. They're onto the tier four towers. They know that Thompson doesn't have buyback here, and they're abusing that as much as they can. I think this is. Got to be one of the best Phoenix performances I've seen from FY. He just bought so much space for Somnus and is just wreaking havoc all across the map. He, he killed two heroes by himself <laughs> earlier when they were, that was, yeah, FY definitely having an all-star performance here. And again, here. the supernova by the base. They are going to try and kill it. Can they kill it off? Can they, 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 they can They just can't kill the sun. As a buyback from No-Tail comes out, but the H is exposed. No-Tail immediately dies after buying back. The Winter's Curse is there onto FY. Will it kill him off? FY is still alive. FY, he'll finally fall. The Dragon Slave for Jarex finishes him off. He'll buy back those. He knows this is LGD's chance to claim this game three. Somnus continue to be down onto the edge of the Light Strike comes out. The Agony was tied. That's from Arm.
Puts up the save. He gets a good coaching out into Jerez. He's looking to dive towards the fountain as OG is still able to play around it. But the damage from Sonus in those challenges as well with the Primal Sprinters. They beat down on the ancient PSG OG. He's looking to close this one up. And they will. Game three goes to PSG LGD. On the river, they've got level 18 on the brew, so level 3 primal split at the ready. Chalice on the high ground. OG got that ward down in time, and that's going to set up for Sam to find the jump. And fight comes in though with the snowball save. Keeps his team alive for now. They're rolling on Sam. Sam gets the blame, but now turns to one Chalice. Chalice, he gets, he gets the split off. Sam, he's got down. Jerex now focused as well by PSG LGD. They'll get the two of them. Sam's brought back. The chase from Somnus onto No Tail into the trees. Sets up for a double kill on the Bloodseeker. And Sam, he's been set up into the skies by Chalice's Cyclone. Seb gets the blink off. He's got the Shadow Blade too, but they've already lost three on OG. The Ford in the mid lane, so it looks like they are going for a Roche fake out. Hey, Anna is on top of X Nova. Go, Seb's gonna be there. Set. Oh. He's in. The call. The EMP. The cannon. The flies in. He's able to get the save off in time to keep this man alive. Get Chalice. It up. Chalice is down. Buyback from X Nova and Chalice. FY with the Invis Somnus looking to get involved. Post the BKB to get over the ice roll. They get on top of Sam. Sam's in trouble. Sam's gone. The axe down once again for 90 seconds. There's now FY giving them the vision, but they see him. Got the doppelganger to jump away from the snowball. The snowball over to Thompson. The self fuels. FY trying to buy time for the rest of LGD to come in again up into the air. Arme straight on top of No Tail. FY will fall. Arme looking towards No Tail. No Tail puts the hand and got, but No Tail beat it down by Arme and Somnus. Chalice gets the primal split off as Anna. He's been left behind in Thompson. He's got to do something incredible in terms of the combo. Can he find the angle? Jerex coming in, keeping Anna alive. Anna with the doppelganger. The deafening blast comes out onto the two of them. Anna trying to go in, looking for the kill. Can he find it in time? Onto X Nova. He's on top of him, trying to beat him down out of again with the doppelganger now retreating back towards the base. As X Nova will survive, Jerax back in the combo. Me ball down onto Chalice, but Chalice is so tanky. Both the Shiva's gone. He's on top of Jerax. Jerax is gone. Anna as well. Can he really fight back He's against the Sumners and X Nova is so low? As the buyback for Jerax comes in, he's healing Anna back up. That buyback could set them up for the kill on X Nova. The cold snap down onto the Atreus, they find him. Ame, he's out of Anna. He's starting to shift into the strength, but he's surrounded. OG, can they find the ball? If they can! OG oh, are still in the game. Ame. Oh, Ame. Heal battle. Anna. He's losing, losing action. Ame's gonna get caught out by the tornado, though. They've opened up onto him, Arme trying to get on top of Anna. The BKB popped by Chalice, he'll get the ult out. No Tail getting gone on straight away by F5 with the snowball. No Tail's dead for 100. Cool. They'll get the Chen, Anna in the midst of it, trying to lock down onto FY. The rest of his team about to come over, they get the tornado. Out onto X over Seb, looking for the cool control onto Arme. Has he got it? Arme getting stunned up by the cold snap, but he's able to wait for him up the high ground. Thompson blinks in, he gets the hex out, but FY with the snowball save. They get the bash out, Sonus will be able to find the IO, but they're fully low OGD. That's Sonus there for two minutes. They get Thompson, Thompson there for two minutes. It's only Anna. Anna, can he do it here? He's at half out, Seb! Seb gets the call! Lifetime as three dead now on LGD. Any backup on the way? FY will be able to get out with the Invis, but this doppelganger just over and over again, meaning that I could just stand in. Now he's got the back of a Jerex as I have the hex. He gets hex. Oh, he didn't expect it. He didn't expect the hex, but he's still fine. Jerex at the Odyssey, but X Nova into the snowball. They'll turn towards Jerex. They had a gun coming out. Jerex has been nullified. They get doppelganger once again. X Nova, he will survive for now. He's ready to put it to use. Straight into the base he goes, doppling forward. He gets the jump onto X Nova. The ghost set to keep an X Nova fine for now. Anna looking to turn his commitment towards Arme. Thompson comes in with a deafening blast from the side. The EMP finishes X Nova off. He's dead for 110. Seb pops the BKB. Looks for the cool control onto FY, but FY does get the snowball off in time. Arme looking to get on top of Jerry's, but Thompson turns. They get the hex out onto him. He'll get us back into the ball. Okay. The BKB's out in time as Arme cuts down no tail with a waveform, finds the kill. Anna looking to get on top of Arme. The BKB's about to wear off. The Mega Crease beating down upon the agent of OG. Set in again. The call on top of Arme. Arme dead for two minutes. And Chalice, BKB Pock, and he's trying to commit, trying to deal with Anna being silenced by the blood right. But the agent is falling. The, the hex is down. out. They're going to be able to find themselves. Chalice, three dead on LGD. OG hitting the agent, hitting the agent. Oh. We're going to a game five. We are 
going to a game five. OG taking game four at 65 minutes in. The clutch plays from Anna and Seb over and over again. Jerex as well saves all over the place. You can see the disappointment on LGD's faces too. They were like, we had this. They this felt was, like this, they did. this was it. I mean, if you told me a month ago I'd be casting the Grand Finals of TI, I wouldn't have believed it. If you told me I would have been casting OG in the Grand Finals, I wouldn't believe it. If you told me Ben Wu was coming back to join me, I wouldn't have believed it. And if you told me we are going to a game five, I would have walked away. There we go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Two to two between OG and PSG LGD here in the Grand Finals of TI8. No, on RP is on cooldown. Bottom lane. Looking for the terror blade. TP's coming in. Can they kill him in time? Arme quick with the turn in the Sunder. He's back up to full. As now Anna rooted down by the Rod of Ados. He gets the slider fist off. They do have the control onto Arme. Can they kill him in time? Arme will fall. But so will Anna shortly. He's got the flame guard giving him some resistance, but he'll still go down. Thompson using himself up into the AOG. They found two so far, but Thompson's brought back into the boat from Somnus. They'll get themselves a third. They'll look to No Tail as No Tail fishes to the face from FY. As again. Compared to the RP. Yeah. Bottom lane. No tail trying to set up onto Somnus. They'll remnant forward with Anna. The boat's already out though for Somnus. Somnus trying to look into the trees. He's hunting actually down No Tail. The global silence comes out. Anna not quite able to get on top of X Nova. As X Nova keeps his distance, Somnus just turning and beating down on No Tail. No Tail will go down as well as uh, X Nova. One for one at the moment. The sentry's down here from OG. They have eyes on Somnus. Seb still holding him for the side. Then there'll the be a buyback from No Tail. The boat, the stolen boat, the RP coming through. They're jumping in the web fight there with a the slam. Ready to hold off of the fight, but Chalice is so low. Chalice is going to go down. PSG OG. They've lost three F5 with the TPL, won't make it. The slide of this, the change. Anna catches out the shaker. Can he TP back in time before the curse kills him? Yes, he can. Well, that is way further behind than the rest of his team. So they can get the catch onto Anna. Fisher, jump four from FY. They've got the chain stun. Is there so any way they can play his way out? The global's coming through. The mech will be popped here. Zana's up into the air. Chalice looks around him, but he gets the slide out. Can he get over to the remnant as well? No. There's the jump, the RP. They'll get the kill onto Anna. Seb tries to skew the two of them to the side, but now he's stuck on his own on the low ground. Arme's there on the high ground. Pops the BKB. No messing around for this Terror Blade. Azame will help. There's no remnant out for. Oh. On the Ember Spirit. Do get X Nova on the side of an FY. He jumps in with the Echo Slam. Jarrett is going to be there with the Telekinesis, but already they've lost No Tail. And the X Mark, it's there onto Tops, and he'll use himself up. He will be able to keep himself away. Somnus is hunting, though. The Thunder Ghost Wrath comes through. They have vision, but. Yep. FY. They don't vision. get the fish around in time for Jarrett to catch FY. Somnus, Chalice, they're in the pit. He tries to jump forward. He's there, but instantly FY's there with the reaction. The Enchant Totem's down. So it's been cursed. Bring it forward. X Nova trying to go for it. They do manage to get the chains out onto the Bat Rider. The Courier actually being taken down here, but they've lost one. They've lost two. They've lost three. Buybacks coming out from the two of them. OG, they've got the double kill for Anna. RP Chalice on the high ground. They're going to head into the pit, OG. They're confident knowing Seb can sit there on the high ground, ready for the counter play. Arme getting sprouted. Chalice looks to make a play, jumps in, immediately going for it with the lasso. Has he got the control to get the damage out? He can. He That's going to be Anna dead, but Anna buys back straight away. Arme moving in with the BKB. Roche is still alive throughout this all. They've lost Thompson. The slide, the chains, the remnant across. They'll get the kill onto Chalice, Global. but now Anna is in the middle of it all. Uses it himself with the flame guard, ticking it down like the side of Fizz. The RP. Seb, he's got the control. Oh, Arme. As OG, they fight three. They look towards Somnus surrounding him in the pit. Somnus, he'll go down as well. Oh the buyback from Anna securing the fight here for OG. There's only X Nova left alive, but not for long. They chase him down. They get the team wide triple kill for Anna. Uh, I'm surprised Somnus didn't go Thunder issue for them. Attack. Chalice. He's in with the opener, straight in with the lasso. The tower will fall, but they'll drag back the Amber Spirit into the torrent. Cut him down with the tiebringer. He's dead watch, but on the side, they find Arme. Arme's dead for 60. Still alive at the moment. And all the Yorks will get to dodge. Anna up into the end, dodging the Echo Slap. Somnus, he's trapped here in the Sprout. OG, they'll slowly punch down the Kunkka. The stolen fish and Jerax sets up onto FY. OG take three and up into the base. 28 minutes in, OG are threatening the high. Slam is still on cooldown. How long till RP is back up? RP's there, they look for the setup onto Ame. They get the chains onto him, jump forward, Seb! Oh, the RP's just on the tip, pulls him in, but it's not enough to buy time to kill uh -oh. him. There's Ame, there with the turnaround, past the Sunder onto Anna. Anna's able to remnant out to the side. Chalice hiding in the trees, Thompson. 
Starting to throw out the lightning is Ame. Chalice backing away. Skewer forward for Seb as he clears out the trees. Chalice still with a firefly, getting himself away. Will jump himself away from the Nimbus. Backs himself up. X Nova's got to be careful. He's incredibly low. They're looking to set up with the Tyrant. Ame has been sprouted. The stolen Fisher from Jerex. Out onto Ame, but then fights in with the slab. Is it enough? No, it's not. LGD, they've lost two yet again, but they have managed to find two in return. And is still alive. The Flame Guard keeping it fight again. The slide of Fist cuts down a second double kill for Anna. Chalice surrounded by seven Anna here in the trees as well, okay. OG get the team wipe. Anna has been unbelievable with these slide of fist. Oh, level 23 as well. As Anna He's charges in, he finds himself the change. The boat is going to head over towards his way, but he yields his up. His Lincoln's has been pot set, goes with the RP, dragging back to the Kunku. Can they kill off Somnus? He's very tanky without her. It looks like he'll be fine. They'll get the Chalice jump with the Lasso onto the Ember Spirit, the FY Echo Slab as well, onto Anna. Can they actually kill him off? They don't have the damage. Anna's able to get the Slide of Fist out. There'll be a buyback from Thompson. It's Jarex, the Solar Fisher onto two. Oh Sets up God. for the double kill. Anna, he's found two, and OG looking for more. Seb trying to hunt down Somnus, the dust upon him. Seb's got the skew, he's got the blink up. Can he peel him back towards his teammates? He oh. can't quite catch him. Somnus will be able to back up a Nota. He's in with the Sprout, the Chains, the, the chains. setup's there, Anna closing in, he'll be forced to the side, Somnus, can he get himself back to the fountain, he'll turn, he'll clean out the summons there with the Tidebringer hit, Tops but he's back. stuck in the tree line, Anna just going for the kill, is Somnus still alive? They get themselves now a bigger target, potentially Arme, Arme, he's sprouted, he has got something, can he get it off the card? Arme cut down, as the tier falls now, being taken by OG, there's all the time for the people and Chalice! It's another down! Oh gee, can they get Somnus, Somnus? He's doing his best to hold 10 seconds before he's got teammates back in Seb. Feeling Somnus away from the fountain, and is on top of it, Somnus. Down to half health, he's trying to retreat for the chains! They get themselves another Somnus taken down! Azame with a BKB reflection. Anna starting to be forced back, they have got X Nova and FY back in the game now. No Echo Slam or Global, the Ancient is exposed. As OG, the Nimbus no, down, the Shockwave from Seb gets themselves another, they're onto the Ancient! OG! OG! They've have done it. They have they done it. Have the power of flowers and friendship. I've done it here, ladies and gentlemen. Your grand champions of Team it's OG! Can you believe it? OG, a team wow. tipped by some to be the 18th most likely to win TI, and they've just gone and done I, it. They don't believe it. You look at them in the booth, they look they've stunned. They've just gone and done it. That was... A team that was shaken up months before this event. They just Ripped formed. Apart. They just reformed this team. Thompson, he's only been playing for a couple of days. His earnings were three thousand dollars before this. Oh my goodness! OG, congratulations! OG, it's OG. They deserved oh, it. They they oh, yeah. out of their minds in this entire tournament. They didn't follow anyone else's strategy. Maybe that was that was that was a stepping stone. They just played their own game, and it was miraculous. Wow! Ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, OG, your TIA champion. <sighs> wow, what a game and what a match. OG have done it. They've completed the miracle run. Thompson, his first professional LAN event. No tail, you can see just the joy overcoming him with his teammates Seb and Jerex. <laughs> Truly a redemption story here at the International. OG have completed their destiny.
Anna Thompson, Seb Jerex, no tail. Now the five that are the champions. The Phoenix! The Phoenix from the ashes! They rise again and again and again! From the open quarterfires! From the open quarterfires, your champions! Oh, gee, the Aegis is yours! The Aegis is yours! Get your ass over there one second! You're a TI champion, No Tail! I guess it's real. It's fucking real. Breathe it in, take your time. Hundreds of thousands of people here. I'm, I'm, I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. Thompson. $3,000 in your pocket. You come to TI, you get an email from no -Tel. you're a TI champion. What? <laughs> I wish we could keep going, but go get the ages. It's yours. Rogers Arena. from them at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre tonight. Chobra, I think the crowd is saying it all. Indeed. Oh, gee, that's all we can hear here in the Rogers Arena. And they've done it. They've completed the Cinderella story. And better than that as well. I mean, on our panel, we have Trent Nahaz and Shiva. Every and hour of your day sweating into that Dota. It's... <laughs> yeah. And that's what it's for. That that's right it. there. This, this is OG's moment. I would not have picked them as a favorite for a single series they played at TI. No. Well, and somehow they did it. No. What an incredible, incredible run. Obviously incredible here in Vancouver, but a couple months back, oh. they were... They were left stranded, oh. and, and then here they are. Oh. Three months ago, almost to the day. Yeah. It was May 27th when this team labeled one of the most disappointing teams of the DPC season, having lost what most consider to be the best free agent pickup on the market, were shattered. They lost their four-time major winning captain. They lost one of the most storied players in the game's history in S4, and here they are, not even three months later, on the stage, the greatest Cinderella story in the history of Dota 2. Immortality. That hug. 
That, I think all. that, yeah, that says it all on how much this team wanted it, how much No Tail wanted it, but as well, all members of the team and not just the players. I mean, you saw it as it ended. And there you have it, Roger Serena, your champions, OG, here at the International 2018, <laughs> lifting up the Aegis of Champions. become TI champions, you've got to open the bottle of champagne. Ladies and gentlemen, All right. please give the biggest round of applause to your